They should come back and vote. President Trump says Congress should do its job and end the partial government shutdown and that he does not want to take emergency action to build the border wall without congressional approval. I'd rather not do it because this is something that Congress should easily do. President Trump met Friday with local and state law enforcement officials. They were invited to the White House to voice support for the president's position that the wall is essential to national security. Arkansas Attorney General Leslie Rutledge was among them. Our local law enforcement agencies are impacted, whether it's through Ill illegal immigration uh, directly, whether it's through the drug cartels. Congress and the president remain deadlocked over funding for the border wall and the partial government shutdown continues. When this answer is very simple, let's open up government, let's have a civilized debate. At least 800,000 government workers did not receive a paycheck this week. Vice President Mike Pence spoke to Customs and Border Patrol agents working without pay. All of the agencies affected by this shutdown will be paid in full when the government reopens. Your families will get your paychecks. And in fact, Congress passed a law Friday to make that possible. The bill is passed. But lawmakers have left town for the weekend, ensuring the government shutdown will become the longest in history. In Washington, I'm Mark Meredith.